Hello, my name's Matt Adams, and I have a band called The Blank Tapes. Well, I'm Mike Fortz, this is Parlor to Parlor, and uh, I'm here with Matt Adams from The Blank Tapes. Hello. How's it going, Matt? It's going great. I spent a lot of time describing bands, that's something I've been doing since high school. Yeah. Uh, why don't you tell us what your band's like in your own words? Well, let's see. Um, I guess um, my favorite era of music is from the 1960s, so... You know, I definitely feel like I resonate with that time period. Bands like the Kinks and the Beatles and even Creedence, Clearwater and the Velvet Underground, stuff like that. So those are my, that's my favorite music. Um, so I guess some kind of folk rock with a little bit of psychedelia and catchy choruses, feel good melodies and uh, groovy bass lines. And what made you want to settle here in the Bay Area as opposed to well, I'm from Southern California, um, Newport Beach, Costa Mesa in Orange County, and uh, as a kid I'd visit San Francisco and the Bay Area and I just fell in love with it as a kid and always wanted to move up here, you know, with the, the beautiful Victorian houses and all the culture. And still being next to the ocean and being in California, it was, seemed like a great place to be and it was still close enough to where I was from, where I could drive home in a, in a day if I needed to. And uh, yeah, I pretty much just fell in love with it and had a certain kind of magic about it. It made me feel good and creative. Since you've been here, uh, what are some of your proudest musical milestones? A couple of things that you're really proud of that have happened recently? In the Bay Area? Yeah. Well, recently we played um, at the Great American Music Hall, and that was really great. We opened up for the Mother Hips, which is a great band. I guess recently there was a 4th of July party on a rooftop in the Mission District and I invited all my, my buddies, bands that I play in and uh, we just had a great time, played all day and it was great uh, mostly because I was playing in all the bands for the most part and uh, you know, just uh, I guess it was a good feeling knowing that after all these years of being here I was uh, a part of a great community people. It was a good realization. Nice realization. How about outside the Bay Area, things you've done outside of San Francisco? Well, um, about five months ago we toured down to Brazil and that was really cool. It was great. I never would have thought I'd go down there, let alone tour down in Brazil. So that was, you know, that was pretty amazing. And then a year before that we, we toured around Europe and that was really cool. Someone coming through town doesn't really know the scene too well. Who would you say are a couple of your favorites that they should go check out? Bands that I play in. Yeah. Well, um, currently, the bands that I've been playing in the most are F Pod, B Pod, Magic Leaves, um, and Indiana Hale, um, Mark Matos, and O Speeches. Those are the main ones, and then I. I still play quite a bit with Michael Musica, um, Ash Ryder occasionally. At certain certain times of the year, I'll play in as many as ten bands, so it's kind of hard to keep track. But those are the main ones. How about you show us a little bit of what keeps things musically inspirational for you around the house? Sounds great. So this is it. This is my room, my studio. Um, Really low ceilings. It's called Six Foot Studios is the name of it. So you can call it probably in six foot in here. Out of luck. You gotta sit down. This is the main machine, main beast that I've had for a long time. Eight track cassette tapes. These are many tapes worth of unreleased albums. I'm getting around to mixing them. And then just recently I picked up this, taking it to the next level. 16 track, 1 inch reel to reel. 
So I'll be going from eighth inch to one inch. Quite an uh, improvement. Space Echo. I like old analog equipment, tape equipment. This thing is neat. I don't use it that often. It's called a Marxophone, it's from the 20s. Sweet drum set from the 60s, stoked on that. Supro guitar from the 60s. Belzuki from the 60s, 12 string guitar. A lot of people have seen these. This is just a current, this is you know, probably built like five years ago, but. So I have quite the arsenal. Matt, thanks for having us over. Oh, for sure. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, how about we uh, wrap up with a song? Okay, we will do. Make it right. Make it right.